Lucas says, is it good to try to buy vacant hoard from LLCs? I'm not sure if that's the right word there or that's a typo. Maybe he can come on. Vacant T. Lucas. houses? Yes, to buy vacant houses from LLCs. Oh, maybe it's supposed to be houses. Yes. Is uh, it good to try to buy vacant houses from LLCs? Well, you know, it just, it's always the deal. It always boils down to the deal. I don't care if Miguel or Gorilla is selling the house, if, uh, it, if it meets our criteria. If I can sit down with Miguel and go through that cost to sell worksheet and come up with a number that's agreeable, hey, uh, I'm happy to do that. Uh, and a lot of investors do have their properties in LLCs. And let's take that 93 year old lady that John's working with, with five properties. Well, maybe she owns those in LLCs. Uh, so I wouldn't be in, at all shying away from the ownership. I would be more in touch with the time that we can get together face to face and actually go through the presentation. I was going to ask, do you think that they would be more likely to sell if they were like a, a regular owner as compared to the LLC or? Well, that's what I'm trying to help you think through is I don't want you to be making a presupposition here. I don't want you to think in your mind, well, this is going to be that way because of this, right? You go in with all possibility doors wide open and you come in with the mindset that you're gonna be able to make a deal with those folks regardless of if they own it in an LLC or not. Okay, okay, thank you. Sure thing, mindset is a big deal, baby. You gotta, you gotta go in with the right mindset and not have any presuppositions about what is gonna be so.